all right uh, hello guys uh, peace of Christ to all of you I hope my uh, voice is coming uh, it sound good the internet is bad microphone is bad. <laughs> I think I need to upgrade all my equipment uh, this microphone the bad thing about it if you touch anything it change you know uh, so anyway do you hear anything let me let me try to hear my uh, the sound myself from YouTube and see if it is better. No, actually, my microphone is not two dollars. I think they cost me a hundred eighty dollars, but they are old. Not like something going wrong. Let us see here. All right. Sound is good. Yeah, I don't know what okay mean. Is it okay, okay? Do you have uh, any noise in the back? Not sure. Perfect. Okay, then I will not touch it. Yeah, I tried my best. Do you see there's this, like there's a big switch, have many tons of keys, and there's other uh, connector, whatever they call it. And like, if you touch any of them, the whole thing, like you have to play again, God knows for how long. I'm not professional in those stuff. So uh, it's like, uh, it's based on trying. You have to try until it work. All right. Okay. But uh, for some reason, the internet is bad. Maybe because it's very cold outside. I'm not sure because I can tell my uh, screen is a flare, uh, like uh, the, the connection is not coming good. <clears throat> yeah no movement don't touch don't move <laughs> yeah I, I will look for uh, I order a new modem and look like I need to order uh, uh, a microphone you know there's a uh, there's way more uh, easy to set up those those ones those one I had them for long they are like you know those you see them in the radio station like you know what they are I mean they don't do really what it's they look they look something, but they don't look, I mean, they don't do what, what they look like. Their voice is normal and not a big deal, you know. And uh, their uh, their setup is very complicated. And their cables are very annoying. If you see how many cables are coming from those machines, you will not believe it. You feel like I have a, if somebody come here, he would think I have a, like a TV station or something, you know. Yeah, I have a we have a bad uh, weather, and actually it might be that the the Abdul they are trying to, uh, uh, you know, because uh, when we connect in Skype, even if I change my IP, the second they connect to my Skype, they find the new IP, and then they can flood my uh, my broadcast during the broadcast. So this is very possible, you know. You know them; they are very very nice people. Uh, I'm not uh, surprised. Yeah, that's good. Well, I will not touch it. <laughs> Actually, before you leave it, before I put this uh, machine inside the box, so nothing will touch it by mistake. But now, because of the new set I have, uh, it, it's very hard to to find a place for it to put it inside. You know. <clears throat> Yeah, but I will try to find a better uh, microphone. Do you think you could convince Hijab eventually to see the truth? My friend, we are not here to convince Hijab or those people they are doing business. Those are people are false people. Uh, but what, what you see always from Muslims that they cannot debate you, so they try to make it personal. You know, do you see what they did with the, the apostate prophet you know they start talking about his mother and his sister i mean very 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 trashy people so for us i don't care really who listen who don't i don't care who change who don't this is his business 
you know life is about choices and the lord he says from your fruits you shall know them right so uh, um, I'm not really. I'm not. I'm not even. I'm, I did not even debate this guy. Did he de did he debate me? He did not even let me talk. Right? Even without him letting me talk, I get him busted. And look what he did. He made a video saying that I'm harassing a girl, or whatever. And he, you know, cut the tape. He put it together. But the stupid. I think. I think he is so stupid to the point he trusted the Muslims. Uh, either he is the one who did the cut and paste in the video, uh, or he is stupid to the point he's heard, he, he heard the video. And yet he used it because this video, it is his sister who said, you know, I don't know how many of you watch it. He can go on. Uh, she said that Jesus, he played with his mother poop and he is a, a boop and he is a he's a guy. So if now this guy, he go to the uh, uh, to the speaker corner and the Christians met him there, they will they will humiliate him. He thought by using this uh, uh, duct tape coat, he can make me look bad. You know, this is the purpose. But now it turned to be against him because it was his sister. She is filthy. You know what I mean? So he's a stupid. They are naive. And they don't know what to do. And you can tell how terrified they are. I mean, there are five, six, seven people there. Keep shouting and muting me. And they did not let me. And they open a topic. They don't want to talk about it. They talk about breastfeeding. They don't want to talk about it. They talk about muta. They don't want to talk about it. They talk about polos. They don't, uh, you know. So what, what they want is they thought, they thought, uh, uh, you know, we can play this game and we will do the same as we did with uh, David. What are you going to do that with me? Especially, we have it recorded from the other side. So people now, they put the two videos together and they start laughing. All right. Yeah, thank you, uh, France. Anyway, you know, and you know, like uh, uh, they thought uh, uh, a day before, he said, um, the Christians community will disown you or something like that, you know, and uh, actually right away after we finished the debate instead of what he thought is going to happen, I got tons of emails and even, you know, a donation. So the target was they cannot debate this guy. They can't answer him. Like, you know, look at this. The guy he is a question why Christian Prince is asking the girl, uh, uh, saying to her, you want to do breastfeeding for me, but he did not want to talk about what kind of a prophet he says do breastfeeding for me you know what is the reason for this question the question here prophet was saying that to her and she is the one who said to me that jesus was playing with his mother boo so i said are you okay well as long as you are going there here we go your prophet is the one who so they got busted badly you know and they don't want to talk about the topic they want to talk about me you know what i mean but who is me? What I did? I just read for the girl what your prophet is saying. And every day, every time I go online, I say the word penis, vagina, uh, panty, <laughs> ass, <laughs> you name it. Why? Because Islam is an R-rated. So what I will, what, is it me? Or, or this is what your prophet is saying? You know what I mean? So they thought they can they can make me look bad. It, that, that you are just a stupid fool. You are just a stupid fool. Every day I go online and this is what I am talking about. Every day, non-stop. This is what Islam is about. Endless penis, seven tears orgasm, big ass. I mean, so what we will, we will make Islam holy? Islam is R-rated. And you are saying why I'm talking R-rated? Because Islam is R-rated. You know what I mean? They are very silly, but anyway, they they uh, they they help us always by their stupidity. He is angry. Uh, uh, because of what they did to him after the debate with David Wood, I got him busted. I did humiliate him. He thought maybe he can seek revenge, but it worked in his not in his benefit. Yeah, but anyway, I don't really I don't like to talk about those people. And look, they could try posting pictures. They try to intimidate you. They think if they let us say for the sake of argument, if this is me, and okay, and, you, know, so you think I'm scared of you. I mean, I laugh at you. You know, they 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 shout and look. If in the video he was shouting, you know, trust me, in the front of real people, you will become like a rat. 
You see, these days, there's nothing that's called big and tall and short. A kid, he can't take you down. Uh, just a kid. So those people, they are just cowards. Everybody is in England is laughing at Muhammad. Where are you, the man, the brave man? Do you dare to say that in the front of us? They say it to you every day in FCB Corner. Let us see what you can do. <laughs> anyway, so uh, for us, God is good. And, uh, you know, we do our part. And those people, they don't count for us. You know, and then really, I'm happy to see all the... Uh, people who send me text messages saying we are proud of you and we, we, you know we are happy with them in their places but my friend i wish really that we had a real debate even though i get them busted in every topic they say they said breastfeeding i said okay what the prof what kind of a prophet he ordered women to do breastfeeding they don't want to talk about it is that what you say to a girl is that what you say to a girl huh is that what you say yeah this is what your prophet said to the girl isn't it? This is exactly what your prophet said to a woman. <laughs> you see, so they don't want to talk about the topic. They want to talk about. Do you say that? Yes, I said that, and I will say more. Did your prophet order you to do muta, which means her your sister she can take off her panty? Record me. Here we go, panty. Take off her panty for money. This is prostitution. So you practice prostitution and then you play holy and you play that they are decent. Prostitution is legal in Islam. When somebody is a prophet of God, he said to his followers, you can sleep around and get paid for sleeping around. And then you say to me, do you, did you see that to her? Yes, I did say to her, but this is not a conversation about two people in the coffee shop. This is about religion. This is what your prophet said. And she is the one who said to me, Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. She is filthy. They claim that they respect Jesus and the issues is a Muslim prophet, according to them. Yet they have no problem. You see, hijab, the, the hypocrite, if he have a dignity, he should be ashamed of this woman because she insulted according to what they, they claim to be a, a prophet of Allah. She insulted Mary and she insulted Jesus. No? But anyway, the Arabian prophet proved that uh, the word, the Bible is the word of Allah. <laughs> Hassan, you are stupid to the point. You're asking me to prove it the word of Allah. <laughs> we don't believe in Allah. <laughs> My friend, the, the question should be the opposite. Can you prove to me that the Bible, which is in the Quran, you idiot. Isn't it the Quran says that the Bible is the word of Allah? You are a donkey like your prophet. And I mean, they say to me, why you say the word donkey? I mean, look at this donkey. The Quran says, chapter number three, that isn't it, isn't it Allah who sent the Torah and the Injil? And then he says to me, can you prove to me the Torah and the Bible is the word of Allah? <laughs> uh, <coughs> you idiot. It's, it says in the Quran, not me. You are a donkey. You are a donkey like your prophet. It not, it's not me who's saying that. We don't believe in Allah anyway. Here we go. Read, read. Stop being stupid like your prophet. I hate stupidity. Is that your uh, your Quran? Or this is uh, like, you know, when we spoke to Mimi Hijab, he said, ah, you said the prophet said, or the Quran, this is Quran, but isn't it the Quran is the prophet said, you, you, you idiot? Chapter 3, verse number 3. It, it says what? It says that Allah is the one who sent the Torah and the Injil. And you are asking me to prove that the Torah and the Injil is the word of Allah? Very silly. I mean, they are like a bunch of kids. This is how I see the Muslim when they come to debate me or talk to me. They are scared to the point they have a diver. And before even they talk to me, they, you see, when they start shouting, it's it's about how much fear they have. And they don't want to talk about the topic. They ask the question, and then right away they change the topic. Why? Because they, they will look stupid. So if you go right now and ask those people who they claim they can debate me, Okay, are you willing to debate about the topic you mentioned? Which is breastfeeding for adult, muta, Paul in the in the Quran. Do you dare? They will not. And this is exactly what happened when we were talking live. They mute me, you know, and they, and they would and they put the computer far away from the microphone, which means nobody nobody can hear my answer. <laughs> look how look how trashy they are. I mean, look at them. Muta is not Islamic. 
Yeah, who I don't know who is the donkey. He said that to you. It's in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24. Muta is in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24. Hmm? I mean, it's in the Quran, he said to you, it's not Islamic. Fresh. Hey guys, I supposedly, I will just uh, do a, a, a mic testing. Yeah, are you going to make me stay here? This is chapter 4, verse number 24. It's the Mutha is not Islamic. <laughs> All of you are not Islamic. <laughs> I mean, what is Islamic in Islam? Nothing. If there is anything Islamic in Islam, no, there is nothing Islamic. We have to say it. We have to say the truth. Islam is not Islamic. You can change to any translation you want. And yeah, Islam is not Islamic. Hmm? If there is anything Islamic in Islam, you have to pay them for enjoying it. Enjoy what? Enjoying their private part. And you can read the interpretation and you can laugh at yourself. Go and read Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, whatever you want. Now, is the sound good, guys? Is the sound clear now? How is the sound coming? Let me see. <clears throat> All right. Okay, well, I don't know. If there is any if there is any Muslim we can stay. If there's a real Muslim one that could say something, no problem. Um let me see. Some people have comment. Why Muslim not reading their book? My friend, those, first of all, you see, uh, uh, if you remember, like, you know, let us mention this one again. They have a preset videos and preset answers, right? And when he asked me about Paul, he asked me about Paul, because they are stupid ignorant. When I quote for them the story about Paul, they start answering me about different book. You know what I mean? Because they are stupid. They are ignorant. They do not know what I'm talking about. And this is exactly what they do. Those people, they prepare. They say, okay, uh, two months from now. Why? Because they prepare for the topic. Uh, they are sure that the topic will not change. And they thought they are the one who is picking up the topic. So I will use what I use as a reference in the video. The video they are playing, I'm using different reference. So when I show them different reference, they start asking, answering about that reference. And not only that, even the reference they are quoting from Ibn Kathir, it doesn't say what they are saying. Ibn Kathir did not say, he denied, he did not deny the, the hadith. And here, you know, when they question the dignity, I ask them, are you asking me or Ibn Kathir? Because if it's bad, why Ibn Kathir accept it? That's mean Ibn Kathir is bad. If, if a Christian prince is lying, or this is not a, a true, a, a trustworthy uh, story, then why Ibn Kathir he accepted? You know, so they are just like kids. And I, I, you know, the only thing I don't like about this kind of uh, thing, it just because, you know, you are shouting, they will not let you talk. They try to make you being frustrated. But, uh, but for me, uh, it was fun. Number one, we show everybody that they don't dare to debate me. They don't dare even to get close to me. When you see, when you hear somebody want to debate Christian Prince, you expect like, okay, both they will talk. He will be sitting behind the microphone, Christian Prince from the other side, and they will talk. This was just like a bunch of guys coming and they collected a bunch of videos and they play it and they mute me. Even though they did that, we got them busted. And until now, we challenged them actually to answer the topic they mentioned in the video, which I asked. 
first of all why he did not say inshallah and but by, by the way many people do not know why it's important to mention it it's very embarrassing because Muslims for for a century to come they will say to him even the debate itself when they started they did not say inshallah inshallah we will expose him a Muslim should not say anything we'll do in the future without saying inshallah and by asking this question you notice in the beginning they said oh yeah 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 you are, you are right you are right you are. but he want to jump over it it, you don't cannot jump over it. I, I want to show every Muslim that this guy is a fraud. Like you know, it's like a Christian. He don't believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but yet he claimed to be a Christian. You know what I mean? Inshallah is one of the basic belief of Islam, which is Al Qadr. That there is a destiny. So when you don't mention that, it's mean you out of Islam. And this is why they don't want to talk about it. You know. Uh, Ibn Kathir, he supports boy in the Quran because he is actually a historian. No, Ibn Kathir is just a potato. Ibn Kathir is not a historian. Ibn Kathir is a scumbag like uh, Mimi Hijab. In his time, Ibn Kathir, he, he thought he is defending Islam. Tafsir Ibn Kathir is meant to defend Islam, not to explain. Ibn Kathir, he lived between the Christians in Syria and the Christians in Syria are very educated. So Ibn Kathir, he made his books to refute the Christians, not to explain the Quran. And he's a big fat liar. Secondly, if you read Ibn Kathir in English, it's far away from Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Do you see Ibn Kathir translation in English? This is not even 10% of read Ibn Kathir in English, in Arabic. Anything is embarrassing, they took it off from Ibn Kathir. You know? So don't think that Ibn Kathir is better than the rest. Uh, you know, the, the most accurate interpretation for the Quran is the oldest. The older it is, the more honest it is. The newer it is, the newest it is, the, you know, the far away. Like, you know, uh, uh, in the beginning, for centuries, they accept Muhammad saying that the sun set in murky water, right? Today, and even in the time of Ibn Kathir, because Ibn Kathir is more than 800 years after Muhammad. So we are talking about, uh, you know, uh, the year, uh, if it's eight year after, uh, 800 years after Muhammad, Muhammad himself is 600 years after Jesus, right? Correct? So that will make it what? Almost in the, in the 13, 1400. At that time, knowledge changed. So in Ibn Kathir, he tried to say Ibn, uh, that uh, the sun did not set in murky water. This is how it appeared because at that time people they were laughing at those who believe in this but if you go in the earlier tafsir you will see that all of them they agree no as simple as that uh, is the video flicking or like is the internet fine is it going fine i think we are going to change this uh, video name from uh, internet uh, mic testing to something else. <laughs> anyway, my friends, you see, the problem, the, why they did not uh, dare to debate me, because your reputation speed you, speed you. Your reputation speed you. This guy, he can they get them busted. He can give them answers they are not expected, as I did actually in the, during the, 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 if we can call it a debate, and they are terrified. We cannot debate this guy. Otherwise, what this is like, read for us, read for us. You just played my video reading this, this stupid thing, you idiot. You just play it. I did read it already. Why you ask me to read it, read it, and change you to read it? I read Arabic every day. And in the, you know, when they ask me, uh, read for us, uh, okay, show us the reference about Paul, I put it in the screen, I read it for them. They, they could not answer. <laughs> read it for us. You do not know to read. You do not know how to read. I mean, this is how silly, stupid. People are laughing at you. And let us say for the sake of argument, somebody do not know how to read. You are following a prophet who do not know how to read. So if you are trying to make fun of somebody who do not know how to read, and he didn't know Arabic, he didn't know English, he said to, uh, to uh, David Wood, you do not know Hebrew, you do not know Arabic. And Elijah is God with us. <laughs> the video has some flicker, right? Yeah, <clears throat> there is something wrong in this network. Let us see. Let me check my security. If they're trying to uh, to flood my uh, 
my internet, the Muslim peaceful hackers. Yeah, let us see here. Hmm. All right. Yeah, mostly it's a uh, it's an issue with the company internet. Well, what we can do, Scooby Scooby Do. And now they will recall me. I will say, "See, Christian Prince he is teaching the Christians Scooby Scooby Do." <laughs> oh boy, yeah, it's a stupid cult, and uh, their agenda always work in the opposite direction. You know. They never have a good agenda. They are not smart people. I, I say always, thank God, those people are not smart. I really thank God, because it's going to be harder to get somebody smart or busted. They are extremely, extremely silly and stupid, you know, which make it very easier for me, a lot easier for me to get them busted. Well, what I can do, this is the speed of the internet I have here in my location. I'm hoping that in the future I will be able to move to different uh, location. Uh, if I won the lotto, maybe. Uh, I'm trying, actually. I'm trying to move to different location. God is willing. You know, we will see. I'm, uh, I'm trying to... Uh, I post... Uh, I made a profile uh, looking for Khadija, looking for a woman. She is in her 70, 80. She's rich like Khadija. She will give me a lot of money and I will open a business and I will claim to be a profit. And business is good. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, no, my computer is fine. It's not the computer. This is internet issue. This is internet issue. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, all right. I think we are done for today. I think we we just uh, wanted to test this uh, microphone and see if it's working fine and everything is good. Uh, tomorrow we will be live on air again, and uh, we hope thousands and thousands will leave Islam. Actually, you know, like uh, the the number of uh, subscribers in my channel increased dramatically because of the silly uh, uh, Muhammadan. They thought they can fight me, but what happened, the opposite. There's many people from the Muslims and from the Christian, they never heard of me before, maybe. And by their help, I was able to get more and more subscribers, a lot more subscribers. So it's, you know, they are silly, they are stupid. They think they can fight you, but they cannot. And you know, some of you, they send me some time, this guy is saying he refute you, this guy is saying, my friend, it's my pleasure to see Muslims trying to refute me. But ask yourself, if they can refute me, why they don't call me? Secondly, when Muslims, they make videos to refute me, this is for our best. You see, I don't even report Muslims if they took my videos and put it in their channel. I don't. Because why I want to do that? Even if they are playing with it. And I will tell you the simple reason. A Muslim, he go there. They are attacking guy, his name is Christian Prince. The person who would be curious. He want to see who is this Christian Prince. Christian Prince is a liar. Let us see the liar, right? He come here, he listen, he will find that we are saying, sharing the truth. So they think they are fighting you by making a false accusation against you. But it's it work in the opposite direction. Right? Should you call him idiot? Yes, I should call him idiot. Isn't it better than should I call them sons of uh, sons of Satan's? Sons of snakes? Jesus, he called those hypocrites sons of snakes. Which one is better? Was, uh, was Jesus a, a, a bad person for you? An idiot is an idiot. <laughs> if somebody act like a duck, walk like a duck, he's a duck. Ask me, are, is it okay to say he's a donkey? Well, no, actually, it's not okay because donkeys are smarter. If somebody speak like a donkey, when somebody believe that shaitan take hair from his ass when he do poo poo or he pray, is he what, should, what, what I shall call him a donkey or an idiot? You tell me. 
Hmm? How in the world somebody can believe? Let me see if I can find the hadith in English. Muhammad said that when a Muslim he bent down, shaitan, I cannot find the hadith in English, but, uh, but we can find it in Arabic, you know. Shaitan, he will never stop pulling hair out of his anus until he fought. Okay, you tell me now. Someone believe in this. What I shall call him. And he's trying to prove me that this is true and Muhammad is a prophet. You give him a title. He's a donkey. He's a, you know, here we go. This is Islam. That web. Let me show you the hadith. It's in Arabic, but I will use uh, as usual Google translation. You know, what we can do. <clears throat> give me a second so we can zoom in the hadith. So, you are a person who live in the year 2019 and in, in a few days from now we will be in the year 2020. Yet there is a guy, he says to you, that there is a prophet, he believe in him, and this prophet told them that when a person he go to pray, shaitan, he will take hair from his anus and he will not stop until he make him fart and he hear it and he smell it. In the authority of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he said that shaitan he come to you in your prayer and he take hair from your anus. Do you see it? Guys, do you see it or I'm making things up? Can we read it or we cannot? So what I should call a person who believe in this donkey, smart, you tell me genius. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? So, you know, I understand sometimes Christian they say to me, well, why you are saying the word idiot? And because I want to wake him up. He's being stupid. He's being silly. I mean, look at this. Look at this garbage. How in the world somebody can believe? Okay, you know what? Tomorrow I'm going to make a video about it. And this is my topic for tomorrow. I will make a short video, not long video. So we will discuss with Muslims, but when I say short, not necessarily short, like two minutes. Uh, we will discuss about Muhammad uh, speaking about taking hair from the anus of a Muslim because this is very easy to prove it's true or not. Do you know why, guys? It's easy to prove that this is true or not because if this is a true, a Muslim he should feel somebody putting hair from his anus every every time he pray. If Mimi Hijab he bow down to pray, Shaitan should be pushing, taking hair from his anus. I want Mimi Hijab to witness that yes, he feels somebody playing with his anus each time he pray. What do you think? Is that fair? So either Muhammad is lying. If he say no, nothing, nobody, nobody play with his anus. That's mean Muhammad is lying. If he say yes, that's mean uh, good for you. <laughs> so my friend, I have my way to speak to people. I know that you might say, well, this is like a very aggressive way of speaking. I am aggressive. If you think this way is not useful, don't use it. And don't listen to me. Nobody is forcing you. But uh, I want you to be honest. Have you ever seen somebody making Muslims leave Islam more than the Christian prince? There's many channels speaking against Islam in YouTube. Okay. When the last time you saw somebody live on air, making a Muslim leave Islam after talking to him. Who is the name you mentioned? Can you can you tell me? Who is the name you mentioned that you saw people leaving Islam live on air? There is many. Without mentioning, I will not mention any name. So if my way is not working, then why they are leaving? Correct? So you spend your life, you, you think that this is maybe not polite, but how you can be polite and make somebody wake up? It's like you want to wake up somebody from his coma, but you don't want to touch him. You don't want to even scream in his face so he can wake up. He will never wake up. Right? <clears throat> anyway, 
you don't need to do what I do uh, do it in your own way maybe you can do better than me good for you I remember once uh, a bishop he's an old man I respect him but he said to me why you are doing this you are risking your life those people are crazy you know I said uh, father I called him father he's an old man very old man I really respect him as a bishop I said uh, for how long you are a monk serving God he said all my life I said how many Muslims they converted to Islam after talking to you to convert to Christianity he said none I said okay ask me the same question You know what I mean? Ask me as I ask you. And yeah, additional issue too that many people do not understand the nature of Islam. You see, the reason this Mimi Hijab he fear me, uh, because we are breaking the rules. What is the rules? Usually they are used to Christians who they are very very soft Right and the Muslim believe the reason you are very kind <clears throat> Because of this there's a verse in the Quran Where it says that Allah He cursed us to be nice. It's a curse to humiliate us and this is in chapter 3 verse 112 and we will not let Allah neither the his 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 stupid prophet Muhammad do that to us the fact is the opposite this Mimi hijab and people like him they come to England they they lie they fill papers they cross the sea they cross the ocean to seek refugee and then they humiliate themselves to get papers if Allah really is protecting you where is your where is your protector Erdogan, he kissed, kissed the shoes of European Union to give him money to feed the refugee. Why Allah don't feed them? Two million Syrian Muslim refugee in Germany alone. Where is Allah? Why he let them be humiliated? Donald J. Trump, every day he says, we force the Saudi to pay us. The Saudi, they pay us. We make them pay us. You protect you, we pay that's mean Allah is Saudi Arabia the Kaaba itself are protected by the American so this uh, statement in the Quran is the opposite this is Israel and those are the Christian countries and those are Muslim countries look at them <clears throat> why didn't go to Muslim lands because Muslim don't welcome Muslims but by the way Muslim don't like Muslims maybe many people do not know in the Middle East, if a Muslim he want to live a nice life, he will go and buy house between the Christians. If you don't believe me, ask anyone. If a Muslim he want to have his son to have a trustworthy school, he go to Christian school. He don't put him in a Muslim school. If you don't ask me, ask Muslims. That is the truth. A Muslim he trusts his his child to go and visit a Christian family. I remember when Muslims they come to visit, uh, you know, because my dad he have many people who know him do business with him. They come with their wives and they sit in our home and they are wearing short skirt. In the street they wear burqa. Inside our house the woman she is wearing short skirt and she is coming with her husband. Why? Because this is a Christian house. He will never do that in the in a Muslim house. He will never let a Muslim even see his his, his wife. When I go to Muslim, who they are in, in the school with me, when I was like teenage, high school, etc., I go to a Muslim house. He take me to the dining room, to the kitchen. We sit, his, his sister is there, his mother there. We talk nicely and, you know, they don't hide. Even they are wearing clothes. I am I, shy even to look. The second somebody from our friends from the same school, from the same class, he knock at the door and he's a Muslim, all the girls hide, including the mother. And the Lord is my witness. I'm saying the truth. They show their wives and their, their daughters to Christians, but they will never trust a Muslim. 
because remember Muhammad himself was a filthy man he went his to his own son and yet he did you know fornication with his own son wife can you trust a man who even have a have a thought and he married a child she is six years old right Muslim don't trust Muslims never trust Muslims I never say a Muslim trust Muslims you see who, who is the one who killed the caliphate <laughs> ask yourself the Shia they accuse Aisha and Hafsa they are the one who killed Muhammad then the Sunni they killed all the the, the family of Muhammad the caliphate Osman the one who collect this Quran supposedly they cut before they killed him they took his beard here one by one they torture him they beat the hell of him and then they cut his head and then after that they did not throw they did not accept to bury him between the Muslims they throw him in the road a bunch of Muslims they felt mercy uh, bad for him so they took him and they bury him between the graves of Jews secretly and until now nobody knows where his grave all the caliphate who killed them Muslims why because Muslims always they betray Muslims who is the one destroyed the Kaaba Muslims who is the one who took the black stone make it a piss stone Muslims this is the truth 21 years the black stone is a piss stone al Qurmati he took it and then when they want to get it back, they kiss his shoes. They send the letter to the Hakim bi Amrullah al-Fatimi, the Shia Caliphate in Egypt, asking him, please, can you be the middleman between us and al qurmati We will pay him as much as he wish. The Kaaba has no black stone. al qurmati destroyed the, the, the Kaaba. He took the black stone and bingo. <clears throat> All right? So Muslim don't trust Muslim and count my words all those Muslims you see they are making uh, like a team Tomorrow they will expose each other This is what Muslims do All Muslims they will come American army in their country, but no Muslim will welcome a Muslim can uh, army in his country Did you ask yourself why? I'm just telling the truth which is the biggest base in in in, in Qatar? You know why Qatar need USA army to be there? What about bringing the back Pakistani air army? It's a big country. They can protect Qatar, at least from their neighbors. Why you need the kuffar? Isn't it the Quran chapter five verse number fifty one says that the one who take them as a friend and the protector is one of them, which means you are became a kafir. So why you are risking your uh, your belief? You are you became an apostate why the Saudi now they are asking Trump he have already more than 8,000 uh, troops in in Saudi Arabia and send him more why they are asking him to do that if the Quran forbid them from doing that because they don't trust Muslims the Sunni is big in number so if the Shia want to attack if the Iran is a Shia when I attack the Sunni well the Sunni should be able to protect themselves but they don't trust Muslims to bring them to Saudi Arabia they trust the American that's the whole story same in Iraq same everywhere nobody tr no Muslim trust Muslims all the money of the Muslims is in Switzerland nobody put his money in a Muslim bank the reason a Muslim don't trust Muslim why history talk History repeat itself. <clears throat> a Muslim, he swear to you by Allah one million time in order to take one hundred dollar from you. The second he take it, he will never see him again. Good to see you. And the one who take them as allies is one of them. Do you see it? The one who takes him as a friend or protector, he is one of them. I mean, it's very simple.
Yet all those people who live in England, they pay tax. Not only they live between them and they are protecting them, they pay tax. And they agree that they have to obey the law. And not only that, they carry their passport. A passport have a cross in it. Hypocrites. But the Quran is so clear. And yet they claim that they are believers. In the same time, they speak, what's what's your point? Don't take a hike and come back later. Maybe next day you will understand what's my point. So when, my point is, if you are a believer and you claim to be religious, either you are religious, you follow your prophet order, or don't claim to be a Muslim. This is my point. If the Quran forbid you from taking Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors, then why you do it and how you do it? If the Quran says the one who take them as a friend, he's one of them, which means he's not a Muslim no more. So how the Kuwaiti friend USA and how the Emirati friend USA and how the Qatari friend USA and not only the friend them, our army is all over there. You get my point? Islam is the most hypocrite religion Muhammad he said to the Muslims it's forbidden for you to have sex with your wives when they have their menstruation he go home he order his wife to put a sheet between her legs he said to them don't touch women when you are praying and Muhammad he was punching his wife in his bum or in her legs when he's praying but the Quran says two things will destroy the Muslim prayer if you touch poo poo or touch women Muhammad he said to them don't pee in the direction of the Kaaba and he used to piss in the direction of the Kaaba <laughs> So <laughs> this is Islam uh -uh. All right uh, Do the you know Tahani that you will that you know her exact age I don't know what do you mean by that? She is a Korean woman, and whatever her age is her business, but she is a woman, and she has a filthy mouth. Now, anything else? <clears throat> and always Muslims, you know, remember, when you attack Muslims, uh, believe, Muslims attack you back personally. They cannot really refute you. Especially if they knew that you have a per, you are a person of knowledge, and if they attack you, they will not let you even. They claim they want to debate, but they will not let you speak. They will let you speak only if you do not know. <clears throat> Who stole the black stone? His name is Al Qurmuti. You can search him. There's a video actually I made in YouTube before from a, I just translated the text of a Muslim Sheikh. Explain about Al Qurmati. Not only he stole the black stone, he destroyed the Kaaba, he killed tens of thousands of Muslims in the Kaaba, around the Kaaba, in the space there, and then he destroyed the Kaaba, he took the black stone, and he was standing in the middle of the destroyed Kaaba, screaming to the sky, saying, Allah, where is your elephant? Where is your bird? Because if you remember, there's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of the elephant, where Muhammad he claimed that when an army of Christians came to destroy the Kaaba, Allah, he sent an army of birds, F-16, and they throw stones at the elephants and destroy them. So the guy was asking Allah, screaming after he destroyed the Kaaba, which means Islam is a big fat lie. al qurmati is a Muslim, yes, but he's a Muslim by name. Obviously, he's an apostate. Which means he's born from a Muslim family, he grew up in a Muslim town, all his people are Muslims, but he got Muhammad and Allah busted. All right? Any Muslim?
Yeah, and here you know you need to ask yourself about this story here, which is very funny and stupid. And Muhammad is making a point, which is not a point. It's like a stupid trap, but it's funny. Alam tara kaifa faala Rabbi kabi ashabi alfil. Didn't you see what Allah did to the people of the elephant? No, we did not see. Did they see? Nobody saw that. Didn't He make them at uh, like uh, uh, He demolished them? Okay, and then He sent against them birds. Who want to believe in this garbage? Elephant coming to the desert of Saudi Arabia. The elephant he need at least 600 gallon of water just to drink. And he need a lot more to cover his skin with the core with the, to cool his body because a, a elephant they cannot they don't sweat. They die in the in the heat. That's why they have to jump in the water and in the mud like pigs. Why? Because their skin will crack. So elephants are coming all the way to Mecca. There's no rivers. There is nothing in the in the way. How an elephant army can come all the way to Mecca? Anyway, so this is a stupid story. The second question will be: the the birds they are throwing rocks. <laughs> I mean, look at the army. Why Allah did send an angel? What is that? I mean, what, a bird with with, with with rocks, and those rocks are made from back the clay. So the birds they have a manufacturer. They they back a clay and they put it in their mouth or their feet and they carry it and they throw at the enemy. And that explains why Muslims are buying the F sixteen and the F whatever from USA. In the top of that. Uh, where are they, those birds? When Al Qurmati he came, and remember here, at least this is a Christian. The Muslim they say, the Muslim they say, that Isa was a prophet. At that time, when Allah He protect the Kaaba with the birds, as He claimed, Muhammad. At that time, there was a three hundred sixty something idol around the Kaaba. So Allah, he sent an army to protect the Kaaba when it was full of idols and pagans. And Allah did not send an army of birds to protect it when it was full of Muslims. You know what I mean? This is how stupid the cult is. And there is a verse that tells the Muslims to beat themselves. No, the, I think you are talking about the Shia. The Shia, they beat themselves because as I said, Muslims always betray each other, right? Muslims don't trust Muslims. Muslims kill Muslims. Uh, so what happened when the family of uh, uh, of Ali been slaughtered uh, and the Shia, uh, they did not join the army of Ali. I mean, they did not give him enough protection, his family, Al-Hassan, al Hussein. So the Shia today, they beat themselves for, for like, let us say, for sorrow. Because they did not do what they need to do to protect the family of Muhammad. All right. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I ask the Arabian Prophet: Is that true that the brother of Zainab left Islam due to what Muhammad did? Well, there is many stories about people left Islam, including what you said. Even the one of the wives of Muhammad, her name is Qatila. Qatila, she was a wife of Muhammad and she left Islam and she married a Christian guy. Not only she left Islam, she married to a Christian after she ran away from Muhammad. And she was one of his wives. The brother of Uthman ibn Affan, the one who, you remember we spoke about, uh, 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 praise be to Allah, the best of the creators, that, that verses. This is a verse made by a guy, his name Abdullah ibn Sarah. And he is the brother of Uthman ibn Affan they are like brother from same mother maybe as they claim so uh, uh, this guy he ran away from his uh, from Muhammad after he, he was his Muhammad scribe and he used to write the Quran for him so when when he saw Muhammad stealing his own words and adding it in the Quran he noticed that Muhammad is a fraud so he uh, became an apostate and he ran away and then when Muhammad became victorious uh, and he entered Mecca. He says, "Anyone, anyone 
who hold the, the, the curtain of the Kaaba is protected except those names so he gave names those people must be killed and one of them it was Abdullah ibn Sarah because he exposed him uh, but Abdullah ibn Sarah what he did he went to Uthman to his house to his, to his brother house and Uthman is a very close friend to Muhammad seeking protection so they came to the house of Uthman and Muhammad he saw him there he said uh, 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 he must be killed you know but Uthman he didn't want him to be killed but anyway like it, it end it end in a good way for this guy he was not killed and later supposedly he became a Muslim because that's it Muhammad became victorious and then he became even they gave him like a, a, a good position in the government of Muhammad or in the new uh, Islamic Isis state yeah all those stories are mentioned by Muslims written by Muslim books otherwise I wasn't there everything I say to you unless I say it is not from Muslims I would you know I would tell you all those stories are coming from Islamic books all right all right I think we have enough for today you see uh, uh, the funny I made this uh, video is called Mike testing this is the title <laughs> would you talk about Allah words in root of the words sometime is a Christian is, is an Arab using hold on the jump <coughs> using the word Allah too no Christian or uh, Arab Christians they use the word Allah because they've been forced to you see remember we are under the occupation of uh, uh, the Arab Muslims for 1400 years if ISIS come, come to your town for one week they will make you say Allah too otherwise you are dead so imagine we have ISIS for 1400 years so uh, uh, it became by time it's like a, it's a it's it's a it's a false practice number one it's not a Christian secondly it's like a Christian became hypocrite like Muslims using the word Allah for protection taqiyya you know like okay they will kill us if we say we don't the name his name is not Allah so by time because of fear they use it but absolutely it's false and uh, some Muslim will say to you well if we open the, 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 the Bible translation in Arabic it says Allah this is a translation and this is a false translation too and not only that actually the one who translated the Arabic Bible two Christian and one Muslim imagine how much fear they have they have a Muslim to join them and he is a considered from a high authority of the Muslims so nobody will complain about something written in the Bible which is it will be insulting to Islam yeah and you know by time those who grow up there they say Allah 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 okay so Allah became as a word used for word I mean God but it's not a name anyway so we can say that Arab Christians today they use the word Allah as a word mean God but it is not a word mean God it's a name for especially for the Muslims I understand why still some Arab Christians they say that but they, because they grow up all their life there and this is what they use there and they have no choice however for me I will not accept this Allah for a second <coughs> And if you remember, there is there is a, a, a court in Malaysia and Asia uh, made an order that the Christians from now on they cannot use the name of Allah in their churches. Remember? You can search it in Google. Why? Because this is not the name of the God of the Christians. And what happened? Those uh, this government there they notice a lot of Muslims leaving Islam and coming to Christianity. So they thought maybe because those Christians they are using the word Allah and that make it easier for a Muslim to accept Christianity because we are using the same name you know so Muslims they die to make you believe that Allah is the same God of Jesus as they claim right as long it's for their benefit as long it is for their benefit <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, you know, for us, any name is not exist in the Bible, it's not exist in the Bible. That's it. So, any translation, anything, it tra it's a translation. The translator, he might call him Buddha. This is his business, you know. But for us, uh, 
the Bible have certain words. We have yeah, we have uh, even Yahweh. You know, people they understand it wrong. But you know, when when God He spoke to Moses, He said to him, "What it's mean? I am who I am. It's not even as it's not a it's not a name. This is my name, but it's not really a name. It's mean the one who exists by Himself. He's the Creator. So." Uh, uh, there's many words in the Bible used for God, but none of them really can be considered as a name. We can say it's a definition of God because the Jews, they respected God to the point they don't even dare to give him a name. You know what I mean? He's higher than a name. There is no name can describe him. There's no words can explain him. He's a miracle. Right? So, uh, uh, Muslims, they are desperate for names. We are not fighting over names. You see, let us say the Muslim, they change the name of their God and they call him Elohim. Still, he is not our God. Uh, you getting my point? Because their God first is not a spirit. Our God is a spirit. As simple as that. I mean, the, the nature is different. Their God, Allah, is a physical being and he is not a spirit. So we don't have the same God. Their God have a heaven full of virgins and they have no panties. Our God, he forbid that. He says he and she, they will not get married in heaven. They will be the same as angels. As simple as that. Their heaven is nothing but a beer and drinking and wine and boys and sex and etc. Our heaven is holy. Our God, our father is, you see, even God for us, we call him father. Their God is God of slaves. Our God is father of his children. So the concept, concept, the level, the holiness, the ethic, uh, 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 the nature, everything about God is different from their God. But because Muhammad is uh, desperate to make people believe in him. So when he is in front of the Jews, he claimed to be a Jew. When he is in front of the Christian, he claimed to be Christian. When in front, in front of the Sabian, he's a Sabian. When he is in front of the uh, the Arab pagan who who uh, who prayed to the three daughters of Allah, he did pray. You know, there's a chapter in the Quran about it. He prayed to the daughter of Allah, and he bowed down, and the and the pagan they bowed down with him. So Muhammad is a scam. It's like uh, he reminds me always of Obama. Obama, he is a Christian. When before the election, uh, he he go to the church and he hold the Bible and he's singing singing with the Christians. Hmm? Okay, in front of the atheist. He was making fun of the Bible. With the gay, he's a gay. He go to the Muslim, he say, my Muslim faith. He go to Israel, he wear the hat of the Jews. <laughs> go and see all of those are exist on the internet. Obama wearing the hat of the Jews. Obama reading the Bible. Obama making fun of the Bible. Obama saying my Muslim faith. And he is going and he making a speech about the prophet of Allah and explain Ramadan for us. That is Muhammad, my friend. There's no dignity. There's no, uh, uh, like I say, self-respect. Now again, I encourage all Christians, if you ever have a Muslim, he claimed to be a sheikh, we can organize a time just to make it nice and uh, like very well organized. If there is any Muslim, he's a sheikh, he have a long beard, uh, like from Indonesia, they call them Ustad or etc. Uh, please feel free, I will be happy to have them. We accept those kids to uh, to speak to us, just to put, them, to put them in their places, and we did put them in their place. And I enter now, you know, I, like for, for the coming century, I challenge those kids who claim they can debate me to tell us what kind of a prophet. They are the one who mentioned the topic. What kind of a prophet he ordered women to do breastfeeding for adults? What kind of God he approved that? And what is the dignity? What is the dignity of Islam? What kind of God he approved muta marriage? What kind of God he approved having sex with daughter out of, of marriage? You see in Islam, like this uh, this uh, this uh, filthy uh, Mimi Hijab, he made a post in uh, uh, in Twitter. And the post was saying the following. Let me get you the post. Let me show you how filthy they are, how trashy they are, garbage. And yet they speak about ethic. 
He was talking about the apostate prophet uh, sister. Look what he said. Why would this inc uh, incest endorsing Islamophobe who may be attempting to sexually lure his sister as we speak? And yet they want to lecture us about, did you say to this Muslim woman, uh, suckle me? Did you say that to her? You see, there are people of faith. And we will never say to a Christian woman like that. We will never do that. And uh, me, uh, his nurse, Aridawa, she said, yes, yes, we don't, we don't. This is the same day, you, you donkey. <laughs> you will never do that? Why would this incest endorsing Islamophobe who may be attempting to sexually lure his sister as we speak, dictate an entire channel trying to attack Islam. And when we confronted for fair debate, reject fair debate, yeah, we know you, the offer more quickly than his sister would reject him of his offer. Do you see? Do you see how trashy, you know? Very garbage people. I'm talking about those people specifically who claim to be uh, protecting Islam, defending Islam, and yet they want to school us about ethic. I love when they 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 put in their video. Did you see what Christian Prince is saying? Did you see? Did you see? Did you hear what he said? We will never say that to Christian women. I did not say anything to her. She is a she is a bad woman. She is the one who said to me that. Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. So I said to her, okay, let me show you. Your prophet says that you should give your boobs to me. <laughs> suckle me. You're a prophet, the one who ordered every Muslim woman to suckle a stranger before she can talk to him. Very filthy people. Oh. <clears throat> right yeah anyway uh god is good and uh i'm very happy that we got them busted and uh, the, the 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 nicest part of this uh, debate when they mute me mute him mute him mute him and then they call me back <laughs> and they say hey, brother we have a debate tomorrow uh, christian prince mute him hang up on him They hang up on me how many times? Five times? Six times? Mute him, hang up on him. Nobody can debate me. We are here every day. We do not know who is calling. We do not care actually who is calling. Yet you cannot debate us. As simple as that. All right? Yeah. Your boy. Your boy. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, you know, if you if you think about this text, for somebody to 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 write this text, he have to be not only filthy. Maybe he is practicing what he is saying. There is no way a person would say to somebody else such a thing. You see, I was talking to this girl, reading for her what his prophet said, and she is the one who challenged me. She said, uh, "No, it doesn't say that." So I said, "Okay, so if it says that, are you going to do what he say?" If he say that you can do breastfeeding, you, do you suckle me? She said yes, and she agreed. <laughs> and the funny, she agreed. <laughs> but look at this. Look at this fifth. Look at this garbage. Uh, I don't know how many of you watch my videos about uh, incest. Did you watch it, guys? I have it in my uh, page still. Please go watch it about incest and i showed you how muhammad endorsed incest and he himself he practiced it he had sex with his own daughter-in-law that is an incest and not only that the, the muslims they agree they are uh, they agree all of them according to the most accurate opinion that if a daughter she is a daughter from adultery the father can have sex with her which means if you if you are a stupid woman who step with a muslim man and he have a son sorry a daughter from you he is allowed according to islam to sleep with you and his daughter from his blood for according to islam this is not his daughter 
if you did not watch it go and get it and download it and share it with your friends and not only that I showed you there in the Islamic website in the Islamic books how they say actually there is tons of reference I can show and actually I change any Muslim to say I'm lying that the Muslims until now they have they have a disagreement about if it's okay to have sex with your sister and your mother or not the Quran says it's forbidden for you your daughter and your mothers yet there is Muslims until now they have an ag disagreement about okay it says forbidden for you but there's no punishment there's no penalty if a man he have sex with his mother there's many things are forbidden in Islam but there's no penalty for them and this is one of them what is the penalty my opinion saying that the Muslim disagree if it's okay or not actually the same the same uh, you know actually I don't want to go there and open it right now but maybe we could hold it because because we mentioned it people will say he's making it up right you know them we show it in the screen yet they claim we do it's not true <laughs> right Yeah, what how my case work here? Give me a second. website I have it in front of me but I want to open that website because we need to translate This is the website, I just put it on screen. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And I change the Muslim to say that this is not true and it doesn't say that. And if we go down here to page, if a man have uh, etc., uh, like uh, Allah, he says that we made it. Uh, lineage by relationship which mean by marriage uh, and this is for every relationship between two human Ibn al-Arabi said that a nasab the lineage simply it is the mixing of the water between the man and the women according to Allah Sharia Allah so if it was by uh, uh, fornication or disobeying Allah that is nothing but just a creation and there is no lineage which mean the child from this relationship is not to be considered as a child for you it's just a creation therefore it doesn't go under Allah saying it's forbidden for you your mothers and your daughters from adultery because she is not his daughter according to the most accurate opinion of Islam and the most accurate of religion so this is the most accurate that a daughter from adultery she is not your daughter and this is why she don't go under Allah saying it's forbidden for you to have your daughter to have sex with your daughter and your mother because why she don't go under that band it's forbidden
because according to Islam, she is not your daughter. To, to make it simple, we will we will click at Google translation to show you the English one. But here it says, قد اختلف الفقهاء في نكاح الرجل ابنته من زنا أو أخته أو أو بنت ابنه من الزنا. The the scholars they have a they have a disagreement about if it's lawful to have sex with your daughter from your adultery or sister from adultery. Daughter or sister. This is not me saying. This is their saying. All right. Now I'm going to click at the Google Translation option, and we will see if this is true or not. See, so it's a mix in between the ma and the, the the male and the female water according to the Sharia. The kin the kinship is between a human being. Ibn al-Arabi said. The lineage is mixing of water between male and female in the according according to the Sharia, not face, according to Sharia. So what does that mean? That according to Islam, lineage only earned if you have a legal marriage. We got the point. So if there is no legal marriage, then there is no lineage. So if there is a relationship out of Sharia law, out of real marriage. Then it was a disobedience, and this is an absolute creation, not a true lineage. Do you see it? Even though this is this is Google translation, still is coming clear, and therefore he did not enter under. This is the, the the it's not under under what under Allah saying it's forbidden for you, your mother and your daughter, to do fornication. So you can do fornication with your mother and your daughter. No, you cannot unless. She is your mother from adultery, and she is your daughter from adultery. <laughs> so, if you are a son born of adultery, according to Islam, you can have sex with your mother, and you can have sex with your daughter too. Are, are you getting the point? So, what is Islam approve? Lineage, true lineage, is only coming from marriage, according to Sharia. Do you see it? That is a true lineage. Anything else is just creation. So you can have sex with your mother and your daughter. And not only that, this is according to the most accurate. Because she is not his daughter, according to the most accurate of the scars and religion. This is the opinion of who? Not a Christian prince. According to the most accurate. Scholars and religion. Do you see it? And here it says, uh, and it's not lineage according to Sharia. Okay, uh, there is no law in Sharia. Then adultery is not forbidden. So it's not forbidden because because you did you, you, she is already a fruit of adultery. So nothing is forbidden to have sex with her again and again. So. You can have sex with the with the daughter and her mother, both. And then I want to go here where it says, uh, the fuqaha, the scholars, they differed concerning the man marrying his daughter from adultery or his sister or the daughter of his son from adultery. Do you see it? Oh, by the way, it doesn't say marrying. It says having sex with them. How in the what kind of what kind of a cult that the scholars they are not sure if we can have sex with the daughter of my son from adultery, which means if you have a Muslim, if you have a Muslim boyfriend, if you are a woman who don't care for God and you are silly and you are sleeping around, all right, with Muslim men, and then he have sex with you, and you he made you have a child, she is a child. A baby girl him and his father they can sleep with her it's in the front of you so the scholars they differed concerning not marrying having sex with the daughter his daughter his daughter not the daughter of the neighbor his real daughter this is not a stepdaughter we are talking about his own daughter just because she is a daughter from a fornication he can sleep with her or his sister his sister from fornication he can sleep with her or even his mother.
and yet this uh, uh, potato coward is insulting uh, <coughs> the apostate prophet and he is saying to him such a statement when the fact is Islam who practiced this Muhammad he slept with his daughter-in-law and we are showing you the reference for whatever we say we will expose a Christian press it doesn't say that he's lying to you we are using Google translation this is this is your Islamic website Quran al Quran.com al Quran sorry Quran dot KSU education SA hmm? Let me show you the website so we'll not say we are making things up. Here we go. <clears throat> Do you see it? You see the link? This is the address. And this is an official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And this is Tafsir al Qurtubi. And this is the guy who is speaking about luring his sister. What kind of sister he have? You see the one who don't speak like this? Obviously, you know, he don't care what sister he, she is doing and obviously he have no honor. As simple as that. When we speak to Muslims, we ask them questions about things written in their books. Like now, if a Muslim call me, says, are you going to sleep with your daughter? So are you going to say to me, you are being filthy? No, I'm not being filthy. I'm a question in your book. If a Muslim woman she call me and I ask her, Are you willing to do breastfeeding for me? Am I being filthy? No, I'm not being filthy. I'm asking what is written in your book. Your book ordering Muslim women in order to speak to a stranger. She have to give him her boobs. So instead of a questioning the dignity and the ethic of their prophet, they question my ethic for asking the question or for saying that. You see how they try to flip things upside down? But it doesn't work. People are laughing. Right? So anyway, I think uh, there's an Ustaz in Indonesia. Hold on. Say that okay for women not to cover themselves as long they are already old. He actually, this is not his statement. This is a statement of many Muslim scholars. They say if a woman, she became, excuse my language, I'm not saying that. This is what they say. If she became an, uh, not beauty and uh, ugly, then the reason for covering is gone. The logic, this is their logic. But this is, this is stupid to say, and this is uh, their ignorance. Because Sauda bin Tudama, the wife of Muhammad, she was old when Muhammad, because of her bum, she was doing poo poo, and Umar was spying at her. Because of her old bum, he gave the hijab. So if women they are old, they should not cover themselves, true, then why Allah he gave the verse according to, to uh, Umar request uh, because of the bum of uh, Sauda. Sauda, she was going out, you know, to do uh, uh, poo poo. And uh, uh, Omar, he was making fun of her ass. And this is how the chapter of hijab came. And she was an old woman. Very old woman, actually. Yeah, because she was doing poo-poo. He says to her, we recognize you. So look how filthy he is. I mean, look at the ethic of this cult. The woman she is doing poo poo, and he's saying to her, we, we, we saw you, and not only we saw you, we recognize who you are. I mean, what? Imagine you have a friend coming to your house, and your wife, she is going out in the field. You remember, this is all days. I mean, there's no bathroom. So, women, they wait until it's nighttime where nobody can see them in the dark, and they do it. And then your friend coming to visit you. And he see your wife doing poo poo. Instead of just taking his face away and being polite, he said to the women, "We recognize you, so the what is missing to say? This is your ass. The woman she is doing poo poo. 
Huh? And then he went to his uh, her husband inside to make himself like he is the good guy. Man, tell your wife to cover themselves, man. Tell them to cover themselves. And by the way, cover themselves is not hijab. Hijab, I mean, uh, sorry, it's hijab, but it's not to cover their head. It's to cover their body. To hide behind something, hijab. You see, that those, those, those donkeys do not know even Arabic. The word hijab does not mean a scarf in the top of the head. They are stupid. If you go in the Quran, just, just to give them a little uh, lesson for the donkeys. If hijab means a scarf, that means Allah himself, he wears a scarf. Allah in the Quran, he speaks, he said, supposedly, he never spoke unless he is from behind the hijab. But let us take one by one. This is supposedly <clears throat> this is what the word hijab means veil veil is not for the head how we know let us see it says between them between them you see it it's a curtain it's a curtain it's not even a clothing if we go different place Chapter 19, verse number 17, the word hijab. Here we go. See, hijab. فَاتَّخَدَتْ مِنْ دُونِهِمْ حِجَابًا What is hijaban? She screened herself. Do you see? This is the Muslim translation. They are, they are stupid. They don't even know what they are talking about. Hijab is to screen yourself behind a curtain. Different verse. <laughs> uh, here, chapter 33, verse number 53. Muhammad the cheap, he don't want Muslims to come to his house and eat from his food. So he said to them, if you want to talk to my wives, you have to speak to them from behind the curtain. Read carefully. Let me let me show it to you here. Hmm? When you are invited, enter. When you, etc., blah, 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 blah. And if, if there is no meal, don't wait, etc. And then he says to them, and if you ask his wives for something, you have to ask them from behind the hijab, from behind the curtain. Do you see it? A screen. It's not something they wear in their head. They have to have a curtain between them, which means you can speak from behind the curtain. But this is what we talk, and they claim that they knew Arabic and they want to teach us Arabic and you know, donkeys. Not only that, here we go. This is Allah Himself. Allah Himself, He never speaks unless He is wearing hijab or this is a curtain. It's not fitting for a man that Allah would just speak to him except by inspiration or in the form behind the veil, hijab. Do you see it? The stupid donkeys, there's there's how many donkeys in the world they, they claim to be sheikh? This is what hijab mean. And I prove it from the Quran. I will make a special video about it so you guys can download it and share it around. Anyway, I think it's time to go. And thank God everything is working fine. The sound is fine, finally. But I think I think still I'm going to order a new microphone. This microphone is giving me a headache. If you touch it, we lose balance and things go crazy. Yeah, hijab is a curtain, is not really a veil in the top of the head. But how you explain to who? They say in China, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. We are the we are the Arabic Christians. We are the one who made the Arabic Arabic. You see, there is seven point made by seven Arabic Christians. Nobody can make like them. It's called al-mu'allaqat. Neither Allah, the stupid Quran, neither Muhammad, neither any Muslim. And when the Muslim they speak about the grammar, by the way, the grammar is not exist. The grammar they exist today is made to fit with the Quran. Ask any Muslim. The grammar is something existed long after the Quran. And the one who made the Arabic grammar is not even an Arab, which make it more funny. <clears throat> All right. 
so anyway i will try tomorrow to be live on air again or maybe i'm going to change the name of the video now from mike testing to uh muhammad and busting all right we'll see what we'll call it thank you guys for being here i hope we learn something good as we always do god is good and knowledge is power and they fear power of knowledge you see fighting by the sword it cannot be effective as much fighting by the knowledge and this is what they fear they are terrified for sure like if i want to fight with them muslims they can beat me up right easy i'm not brosley but not even a billion muslim can fight me with power of knowledge and that's why they fear me and that's why they don't dare to debate me and this is why they claim they can debate me but they mute and they hang up a bunch of kids cowards and we get them busted not even a single scholar he dare to say okay this guy he claimed to be a scholar let's get him busted let's talk now we are talking as a mimi hijab he said now we are talking now we are talking breastfeeding by a prophet of god now we are talking why you don't answer what kind of a prophet he gave a breastfeeding order for adult now we are talking muta what kind of a prophet he order women to sleep around and get paid now we are talking what kind of a prophet he says beat your wife now we are talking what kind of a prophet he marry six years old a child now we are talking what kind of a prophet he mentioned that your penis will be endless and your wife butt will be one mile what kind of a prophet he says shaitan will take care of from your anus when you pray now we are talking so now we are talking as long as you don't allow you to ask questions and debate them and there's no answers will come and we are waiting for the answers they will never come god is good and he is our lord thank you guys for being here and thank you for all those who uh, uh, you know send us support and donation and etc you know i'm really overwhelmed by by your love and your care and i really uh, respect uh, the support of those uh, wonderful christians who the muslims they try to make me look like bad in front of them but we are smarter than this and everybody knows that they cannot debate the person they attack him as a as a person they make it personal because this is the only way they can try to take you down my friend i'm not a priest i'm not a bishop i'm not a disciple of jesus i'm no one even you do not know my name yet you cannot debate me and allah is nothing but a fraud and muhammad is nothing but a scam you can speak against me as much as you wish still you cannot answer the questions still you cannot defend your cult christian prince is bad is good that will not change anything nobody follow him and nobody believe in him he is not their god he is not their disciple We are talking about your God. Millions of people believe in muta. Millions of people they practice children sex. Millions of people they practice women beating, wife beating. That is your cult. Millions of people every day they die, believing that there is heaven full of virgins with women have no panties. People they kill every day in the name of Allah, just for the sake of the fifth of sex no answers no answers before no answer in the future and muslims will leave islam you like it or not and we are happy for it we love the muslims we don't hate them and we will never hate them you see even those those who they are evil one even those i don't really hate them remember paul one day he used to be like those guys maybe we cannot say he's filthy like them but he was angry person he is going at the christians when i kill them he hated the christians he hated christianity and he was fighting Christianity and look what happened from somebody he is 100% Antichrist to a person 1 million percent a decent person who believe and he is a disciple of Jesus and even the Messiah he gave him a revelation so don't hate them pray for them and let me do the rest of getting them busted with their lies until they notice that they are following a lie and lie will never survive to cover one lie you need to create one million lie like the video they made and then short video of two minutes of his sister talking about jesus playing with the mother his mother boobs get him busted just 30 seconds so 
as the Quran says, Makaru, <laughs> they they try to deceive, and Allah He deceive, and Allah is the best of the deceivers. When we prove it, even this one is wrong, because their deceive is stupid. You got yourself busted. How this guy will go to the speaker corner tomorrow? The Christian, they will play for him the video. <gasps> Did you see what he said? Ah, <gasps> he says, suckle me. Did you see what you will say to the Christians when they show you what your sister? She is the one who said Jesus, he played with the boobs of his mother. What you will say to them? They will make fun of you. So, brother, there is a decent sister, a Christian prince is harassing her. <laughs> Oh my boy, my friend, and the and the other guy he said she is 16 years old. 16 years old. Are you sure you are not 16? <laughs> how you how they get their age too? I mean <laughs> I'm I'm glad they did not make her six years old. You know, I mean will me you should make it six. Six years old. That will be very embarrassing. Why 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 16? Come on. I mean, why you can't No sound. Yeah, the mic is gone, I think. This mic is gone. <laughs> 